the nymph looks almost ghost-like immediately after casting its old skin and behaves cautiously as it will remain extremely vulnerable while the new exoskeleton hardens. Molting punctuates distinct phases of growth for the nymphs and these are known as instars and may be repeated up to 15 or more times before the nymph is finally ready to leave the water. After two and a half years living below the surface, the nymph is ready to undertake a final molt that will see it leaving its aquatic home and embarking on a final journey to pass on its genes to the next generation. Just before dawn, on a warm July day, the nymph climbs up a reed stem and sits motionless. A few minutes later, the carapace above the thorax begins to split and the dragonfly begins to ease itself out of the nymph's exoskeleton. The dragonfly waits as its legs harden enough for it to support itself. As it reorients itself and begins the slow process of unfolding its wings, the dragonfly flexes, stretching the still supple exoskeleton, steadily elongating and expanding to reach its full adult size. Once the wings are fully extended, the powerful muscles in the dragon's thorax reorient the wings into their final horizontal position. The dragonfly is now almost ready to take its maiden flight. Tremors in the flight muscle are the first sign of impending departure. And finally, 12 hours after emerging as a nymph from below the surface of the pond, the flight muscles burst into life and the dragonfly floats up into the afternoon sunshine. <laughs>